This is Kenny with Just the Right Angle. I have already uploaded one video regarding my call to Congressman Steve Womack's office. When I had called earlier, I was informed that Jim Jordan was not running for speaker, and at the time, I think there was, he had temporarily dropped out. There was some kind of dealings regarding the, uh, a resolution regarding a temporary speaker, but that deal fell through. And now I believe last I have heard, according to 102.9 KR and News Radio, uh, Jim Jordan is uh, attempting to run again for Speaker of the House. One of the people blocking that attempt is uh, Republican Congress, United States Congressman Steve Womack from the Arkansas 3rd District, which is in Northwest Arkansas. I called his office earlier. I asked for the specific reason as to why S Steve Womack is not is blocking Jim Jordan's run for office and was not given a straight answer. So I'm going to try to call that office again, talk to someone, urge him to vote for Jim Jordan for Speaker of the House, and get a specific reason of the, 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 the name of a bill as the, that is that is a deal breaker for Steve Womack. And I'll try to do that right about now. Chris, so this is Kenny. I am a resident of the state of Arkansas. I am not within uh, Steve Womack's district. However, I am, of course, very concerned about what's happening regarding the Speaker of the House as it affects, well, the whole world. And I am urging Steve Womack to vote for Jim Jordan for Speaker of the House. Last I checked, I believe he is attempting to run for that again. Is, it, is that not the case? Okay, and I have asked this before. What is the specific reason that Steve Womack is not supporting Jim Jordan for Speaker of the House? What do you mean by effective leader? Okay, uh, I'm, I was so, I was thinking it was like a specific because I know he did a, he was a head of one committee that he did a lot of where he's gotten a lot of fame and praise for investigating a lot of the corruption regarding Congress. Okay, yeah, that doesn't. Well, it depends on what the legislation is. I mean, if it's bad legislation, we don't want it passed. And see, this is, I called earlier, and um, some, I, I, Chris, I'm sorry, Chris, what, I uh, talked to some other guy, and he's, he, at first he wasn't sure, and then he claimed there was something regarding some appropriation bills, and I'm at the point now, I'd rather have somebody that makes an effort to block a bunch of bad bills than passes a few of these so-called compromise bills that end up increasing the size and scope of government, and I think that's what most of America is wanting. And I, I don't know, there seems to be like a tone-deaf uh, situation with the Republican leadership and members of staff regarding this issue. We don't want, you know, compromises when it comes to things like an amnesty or or some kind of bill that slightly lowers... But even Jordan 